this is a short video about how to put a new inquiry into Flowbot from a customer that we have never had any contact with before. Um, so in front of you is uh, the dashboard. To add a new customer, we go up to new customers, add new customer, and then we put the details of our customer in. Uh, so the first name. Surname, this is for the contact. Uh, email address, as you might imagine. Name of their organization, if they have one. Telephone number, and we have a postcode lookup. So that we have an accurate postcode when we want to send someone to it. Uh, the customer profile, so what type of company it is for us, for our scaffold company. So construction company, scaffolding is the department type, the subtype or inquiry type. Um, these might be different for you, but you select them so that we can co collect, collect statistics on them afterwards if we want to. Where did they find us for our marketing, word of mouth? Who owns the job? Uh, is the invoice and job address the same? i.e. am I going to create an account for someone and then send them off to a site or is it the same just to start with at any rate so the defaults yes order due date do I need to make sure that I've done something with this before a certain date answered it or something like that at the minute I'm just going to leave it where it is uh, subscriptions you know this is for your mail list and then a brief description of the job um, you know once a scaffold on a cathedral or something like that <clears throat> in London and then where do I want these notes to appear in the engineer notes you the defaults that because that goes straight off to the estimator in that case or you might just want to put them in the customer notes so you can read them internally and then we're presented with three options uh, the first one back here is uh, save for later so if something happens and I can't do anything with this job right away I might want to save it for later so that I don't forget it so I'm going to click that one for the minute and this is going to save it onto what we call the to-do list. Um, so it might be that I've got to ring them back in half an hour or I couldn't do something because Amazon had arrived at the door. Uh, and when I get back to it, I know uh, all the details. And this time they say uh, wants an appointment for quotes. Now it might still go back into the uh, to-do list because we haven't sorted something out. But I then have the other two options, which is convert to order and convert to order and make an appointment. So the first one there, convert to order, uh, is just basically put it in the database. I don't need to do anything with it, but if I want to, which is you know send them a bill, send them an invoice, send them a quote without visiting them, I can do that. And the second one is convert to order and make an appointment. Now that one is where um, I'm just going to, they've asked for someone to go out and visit them straight away, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to make an appointment. Um, for all intents and purposes, that is the end of this video because making an appointment is going to uh, appear on the next one.